Hey guys, it's Vanessa with Farm Girl Gardens and Market and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am an edible garden coach and permaculture landscape designer in North Central Texas and I'm using this channel to demonstrate my work in training and equipping our local community garden leaders and school educators and learning the best and most affordable methods to sustainably and organically grow the most food that they can in the smallest footprint that they have. If you're here to learn those tips, that's what this channel is about and I'm glad you're here. A two two days ago, we went over all about aphids. I had some aphids attacking us on the farm after spending the last six weeks uh, getting a baby human here safely. We um, had realized that the aphids had kind of gotten ahead of us. And so I shared my tips for organically sustaining um, a garden and what to do if those DIY methods haven't worked and you need to hit back a little bit harder. The insecticidal soap with neem oil, it's only been 48 hours and you guys, I want to show you the incredible work that that product has done just on getting so many of those um, aphids off of this plant. Now, the ladybugs at that point had not come to the garden. I was a little disappointed to see only one or two guys, but I knew that this plant needed more help than those ladybugs could give. I do want to show you the progress, and I want to show you one next thing that I'm going to do. Um, I didn't have them on the hand. Today's going to be fun. So, we talked about the aphid damage on this plant, and now I want to show you the recovery. It's been two days since that last video, I believe. Uh, YouTube will keep me honest. You can check the timestamp. This is um, that very first leaf I showed you yesterday. You can still see that the aphids are on there. That's what that yellow, let me see if I can get this to focus. Do you see those guys? But significantly less, right? And I mean, just you can even tell from the plant. The plant looks happier. Happy plants. So why are we still here? Because another thing that you can do if you don't have them in abundance in your grow space like I didn't, let me work out my camera so this isn't odd. That's awkward. There we go. Um, when I was um, early in my days as a community garden leader, we often had no budget at all. And so that's why I focus so much on permaculture and organically sustained methods and things that you can do without needing to spend anything. I recommend that if you can't afford to purchase ladybugs, that you actually go and hunt them yourself. They will be out on the wildflowers, pick up a jar, take a stroll with your kiddo, and have some fun learning about the important work of these garden defenders. But if you do have a little bit of money to throw at something that absolutely works and is super sustainable, I recommend buying bugs. Because here's the deal, y'all. When you've had an infestation that's gone too far and you don't have enough garden defenders in your yard, yes, you need to intervene and you need to treat. But those products, even though they work, they are expensive and you will continually have to repurchase them. However, if you can encourage or promote bugs into your space, they will start to do the work for you. And if you can't encourage and promote bugs into your space, because sometimes we just don't have enough pollinators, I mean, that's a global issue, then you actually can purchase them. And so I wanted to go ahead and show you um, what that looks like. You can buy garden defenders or beneficial bugs online. For an organically sustained garden, you're not gonna get better than a ladybug, although a praying mantis and beneficial nematodes are also something great and wonderful to add into your holistic defense. Um, a, ladybug, a pack of ladybugs, about 1,500 ladybugs, will sit you back about 10 to 12 bucks with shipping. Now, all of that said, y'all, we're in Texas, and so you do have to be judicious with when you're going to order these and pay attention to where they are coming from because they're gonna be in the mail um, in the worst part of the year. So just be mindful of that. I will share the links of the sellers that I use, but again, I'm in Texas and they're close to me, so just be mindful of where you are. Um, so, a couple of tips. We want to inoculate my garden with these garden defenders, but I want them to stay here. And the way that you're gonna do that is ladybugs, they are hungry and they wanna go after those aphids, but they also wanna stay safe. So if you're going to do this, this is the three things that you need to follow. You're gonna come out here in early morning or on an overcast day. If you do this in bright sunlight, the second you release them, they're gonna fly away and hide because they're gonna try and stay safe. So an overcast day or early morning like today, another thing that you're gonna to need to do is spray down your plant. Get it nice and dewy if it's not already, just a light mist of water. This is just to encourage a little bit of the sticking when you release these bugs onto them and also to let them know, hey, this is a good habitat here. There's food, there's water, there's shelter. And the next thing that you're gonna do is sprinkle them only at the base of the plant. Ladybugs, they like to eat as they roam. So they're gonna travel naturally up the base of the plant. If I release them right here, they're gonna fly up and possibly away from my garden. Um, and I bought these babies, so I don't want that. 
I'm gonna put them down here at the base of the plant. And so I wanna show you what that's like. Oh, I said three tips, but actually one really important tip when you're working with live species and especially bugs is when they're warm, they're active. And so you want to make sure that you're storing them someplace cool and dark. Um, some people will actually need to store them in their fridge, but just be careful of that because if you put it on the top shelf or towards the back, it might get too cold and they could freeze. If you put it on the door shelf, that's usually um, temperature safe for them. So these guys have been out, they're pretty active, so I'm gonna have to do this quick. I'm not going to release all of them. And if you purchase some, I encourage that you don't either. I encourage that you sustainably keep them so that you have a practice of naturally um, keeping defenders in your space. And so what that looks like for me, because I'm a garden educator and I frequently am sharing my bugs with my community, is I'm gonna release some of them here um, and hope that they live a long life and many of their babies do forever and ever. But I'm also gonna be taking some of these back inside into a supported enclosed habitat in my greenhouse so that I can continue to farm these bugs and not have to pay for them anymore. Um, and I hope that um, that is helpful to you in your process. So let me just show you a real quick look at what releasing looks like. If I can get this camera angle to be decent. Um, <laughs> why don't we come with me? And so I'm just gonna sprinkle these guys at the very base of the plant so that they know where all the food is. Come on, babies. There we go. You see this, y'all? And look at that, already already they are finding the food. I love it. And so that is our ladybug live release. Y'all, if you're local to me, because I did go ahead and buy in bulk, I am going to be doing some of these out and making little garden defender ladybug jars. If you want to pick some up or reserve yours for delivery, I will be delivering them on this weekend, Friday and Saturday of this weekend. If you're a Lucas or Allen area local, really good opportunity to get some cheap bugs to you fast without having to worry if they're gonna die in transit. If you're elsewhere, I will share those links of the sellers I know and trust, but just be mindful where you live, where your seller is sending them from, and how hot it's gonna be the week that you send them. You don't wanna pay for bugs, and if you have to pay for them, you want them to get to you live. I hope that y'all are well, and until next time, bye y'all.